What is up guys, Royal Penguin from Disrupt Gaming here, and in today's video, I want to give you guys the top 10 deployable shield spots that you should be using in this game. Now this video is actually chosen by you guys, shout out to Matthew Rodriguez, and that actually brings us into the question of the day, which is what video do you guys want for next Wednesday? Because every Wednesday we do a video where whatever the top comment is on that video, that's next Wednesday's video. So whatever you guys comment and whatever is the most liked comment, we will be doing next Wednesday. But hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, now starting off at number 10, we are on Consulate and we are in Garage. Now, there's two different places you can put your shield for this spot, but generally the shield is meant to watch the garage run in, and you can either place it on the metal box or you can place it on the pipes. Now for the metal box, it's a very good spot because what it does is it allows you to, one, rotate out of security hallway a little easier because you, know, you have a little bit of cover. You can still be seen, but it's definitely better. But this spot is very good because it allows you to, you know, contest the wall. And obviously you do have to move if they do open, like, you know, the floor above you. But if you have people playing up top, you should be good and you can waste as much time as you can. As well as, even if they do destroy it, it what it does is it makes them waste utility, which is what you want to do. You want to make them burn as much utility as they possibly can so that when they do go for the plant, they don't have any left. Or so that they just, you know, use as much as they can. So overall, this is an amazing spot. And same with if you go on to pipes. Pipes is another great spot to hold because you can watch if they try and run behind a white van or if they go for a default plan. Especially if you're smoke, it will allow you to quickly throw your smoke grenades and get free, you know, kills or, you know, just stop them and burn more time. Because overall in this game, you want to, you know, burn as much time as you can and eventually, you know, win the round. So overall, it's an amazing spot for the deployable shield. I definitely recommend giving it a try and it's pretty easy to do, but... Let's move on to number nine. All right, now before we move on to number nine, quickly, I want to say if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe, because 75% of you guys are not subscribed. And if you do not subscribe, this will be in your closet tonight when you go to sleep. And trust me, you don't want that. But in all seriousness, we actually do really appreciate it if you guys do subscribe. It helps us and it helps you guys because you guys get our banger content in your sub feed. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get back into it. All right, now moving on to number nine, we are in CCTV room in cash room as well and we are on clubhouse so this is a great shield spot as well but quickly i wanted to say that all these like top 10 spots these are all just like amazing spots i don't really have them in a insane order of like which one's the best one but these are just the top 10 ones that i recommend doing but the reasoning why i say do this one is because it's a great one and make sure that when you do place the shield down it's not you know too close to that wall otherwise you will be seen from server window overall this is very good for contesting the main wall it allows you to throw smokes very quickly if anyone has a c4 they can run over to the shield and throw c4 and it also makes them have to burn utility because if they need a Zofia 8 or Ash Charge it, that's one less Zofia or Ash Charge that could be used on anything else like barbed wire or if going from below or anything. Overall, the shield is really meant to make them waste the utility and you want to waste as much time as you can. Maybe even get a pick if you can if they open up the wall and they're just sitting there. It's a very good way. It's like, you know, a mini mirror. That's why the deployable shield is great and I definitely recommend giving this spot a try. Alright, now moving on to the number 8 spot. We are on Canal and we are on top green stairs in the hallway. Now, this is a great shield spot because what this allows you to do is it allows you to hold the entire 90 hall for the backside and also allows you to contest anybody coming up green stairs. This is a great way to let you know stop anyone from hopping into 90 windows as well as contest anybody if they do. This is really good because it allows anybody that is in server to play safely as well as just peek the main breach if they have holes in the bottom or if they have holes in the top. Whatever it may be, it's very good because it just allows you to, you know, generally defend this area. Because people are always going to try and take this area, even if they are going for the main wall. A lot of the times, they'll go for the main wall and then have someone come through 90 window or come up green stairs. So, it is a very good way to stop the pinch and a good way to make sure that your team is very safe. And it takes the pressure off anybody that is actually playing in server. So, overall, I definitely recommend giving this one a try. It's definitely very good. Alright, now moving on to number 7. We are on Villa and we are in Aviator Room. Now, that's a very good spot for the shield. Pretty much all you have to do is put the shield on the vault door, and this allows you to contest anybody that is pushing the study door. Now, obviously, they might open up the wall, so if they do open the wall, you might have to either run up the shield, or you can just move the shield on like, inside the vault door. But overall, just I definitely recommend giving this one a try, because what this does, like I said, it allows you to contest anybody on study door. As well as if you're playing a smoke here, it's very good, because what you can do if they do try and come up top red landing door, you can actually smoke out behind the little vault spot because a lot of people will go for a default plant on like the vault little doors because they feel they're safe. But if you have a shield here, you're safe from the study door. You can either throw the smoke above the vault or you can throw it, you know, underneath the vault if you make a little shotgun hole of smoke. So overall, it's very good smoke, but you don't need a smoke for this. This is just like extra stuff that you can do that will definitely help. But even if you have like a bandit here or anything, it's still a very good spot even like for like later on in the round. So overall, I definitely recommend giving this one a try. And let's move on to number six. And right, then moving on to the number six spot, we are in Sunrise Bar or Blue Bar. That is the bomb site, and this is a very good spot. 
Now this spot, generally you might die, you know, doing it, but you will waste a lot of utility, and you also might, you know, frag out a lot. It really depends how you play it. Now pretty much what the shield does is it stops anybody from just walking in through mud and just opening up the, you know, wall, because if you bring a bandit and, or like a cade or whatever you want to bring, you can pretty much contest anybody from coming in here. Now what this does is it makes them have to waste a lot of utility. So I definitely recommend bringing a Romai and a Jaeger. And they will definitely waste a lot of utility. And like I said, that is the main goal when you're trying to defend. You want to waste utility, you want to waste time. So overall, it's a very good spot. Now the good thing about this is that it cannot be seen from above. As you see in Sunrise, if you go up top into hookah you can generally open up just about everything in sunrise besides this little black top over here and that's why the shields are a very good spot as well you can test anybody coming in for a mudroom take or going to mudroom window because a lot of the time if they are going to take the site they're definitely going to go for a mudroom push and if they do go for a blue bar push most of the time you're going to have shotgun holes underneath you know in courtyard so you can just contest it so that's why a lot of people will go for a mudroom take so overall i definitely recommend giving this one a try because like i said you will waste a lot of utility you just got to bring a jaeger into a mai and you are literally chilling all right now moving on to the number five spot we are back on villa and we are on classical hall or you might call it 90 but this is when you you know are defending the aviator room so pretty much what this does is it allows you to place a shield top main and you can contest anybody that comes in through study as well as you can contest anybody that's going to come up top main stairs generally speaking they're going to go for a top main push or they're going to go for a study push if they're going to you know push the site they might go for a back push but you're going to have somebody playing in 90 if you're going to be doing this like i said you don't want to just do this but i have anyone in 90 because you'll just be killed from 90. so if you know tell someone to go play 90 and then maybe like a jaeger in there or something you can play this shield and it will you know stop anyone from just running into study because they're definitely going to try and take study especially if they go for the wall as well as you can contest anybody on main stairs Overall, it's a very good spot. You just have to make sure you place this shield in a spot where you cannot be just immediately killed from main stairs. One thing you do have to look out for, though, is over here, right, I'm standing on top of this, it's just wood, and they can ash charge this, but a lot of people just don't if you're in a lower elo. It's really only in higher elo you'll see people ash charge this spot. But overall, it's still a very good spot, because like I said, if they have to ash charge it, they are wasting utility, and that is the goal and when it comes to this, just make them waste utility, waste time. So overall, a very good spot, and you will get a lot of frags from this, especially if you do it correctly. Alright, now coming at the number four spot, we are on Oregon and we are in dorms. Now what you're gonna do with this shield is you're gonna place it on the kid's doorway. And what this does is it allows you to walk out of kid's doorway and actually contest anybody that's on the trophy door. Now, a lot of people will go for a trophy door take because they're also going to go for a main wall. So they're going to try and do a nice little like pinch and try and make sure they can actually clear out the people top white. Because most of the time you will have somebody playing top white stairs and you definitely should if you're going to do the shield because, you know, you don't want someone to just walk up top white and kill you. So you're pretty much safe from the main window. So you don't have to worry about that. If you have someone watching top white, you are good as well. And all you really have to do is just play your shield and watch if anybody comes in through trophy door. Now, this is a very good shield. I definitely recommend it because even if they do try and destroy it, you should have Jaeger devices around there. So it'll waste at least like two or three utility of some sort, whether it's flashes or Sophia stuns, whatever it may be. It's always good to waste utility. So definitely a great spot. I recommend giving it a try. All right, now moving on to the number three spot. We are in armory lockers on border. And this is a very good shield. But quickly, I want to say, do not do this right here. Do not place your shield right against the locker. Make sure you are placing the shield a little bit behind the locker because you're going to want to have a Jaeger ADS device on the locker. Because if anybody does actually throw a grenade or a stun or an ash charge or whatever it may be at your shield, it will actually get caught by the Jaeger device. But if you have it against a locker, it will not. So you make sure you are always placing it a little bit further back. But overall, it's a very good spot because it allows you to watch the main wall and contest anybody that tries to come to the door. And overall, a very good spot. And I definitely recommend giving it a try. Alright, now coming at the number 2 spot, we are on Cafe, and we are in Cigar Lounge. Now, usually you'll be playing this spot if you were defending Bar Cocktail, and it's a very good spot if you sit in this corner with a shield. What this does is it allows you to contest anybody that comes into Cigar, because most of the time, if you're going to be defending the site, they're going to push this. They're going to try and get the freezer wall, they're going to try and take, you know, cocktail control, whatever it may be. You will pretty much stop anybody that comes through, you know, Red Stair Wall, and it is a very good spot, and you will see it just about every single game that you play. Like, this is, like, something that people do every single time. Even if they don't have a shield, they're always sitting in this corner. If you do bring the shield, I definitely recommend bringing a Wamai. You can also bring a Jaeger tube, or even both, because that's the big thing about these shields, is you want to make them have to destroy the shield in order to even push you. So if you could bring a Romai and a Jaeger, that's even better, because you just want to burn as much utility as you possibly can. Overall, this is one of the best shields that you can possibly have, because like I said, you're pretty much stopping an entire push, because it's not like they can go from below or anything, because the floor is very hard, and it's not like they can destroy it or anything. So overall, I'd recommend giving this one a try. It is one of the best ones you could possibly do. All right, now moving on to the number one spot. This is one of my favorite shields, and this is what you see a lot. This is a very common shield, and we are on Oregon in Bunker. 
That's a very common shield because what it does is it stops the entire push of bunker and it wastes a ton of utility. Because a lot of times you'll fill this up with barbed wire and malusis. You can fill it up with, you know, obviously with mines and Jaegers and a shield in here too. Which will completely stop anybody from going for a bunker take. And if they do try and go for it, they have wasted so much utility already as is. Now, make sure you place your shield that I have right here. Because if you place it against the wood, it will, you know, obviously not have the Jaegers get it. Because you want to usually want to place like a Jaeger device right where I punched earlier. And it is a very good shield. It's very good for stopping anybody from taking bunker. And like I said, it's very good for wasting as much utility as you possibly can. Overall, I think it is the best shield possible because it wastes so much utility, especially if you bring the right stuff with it. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. My name is Royal Penguin. I will see y'all. Peace.